Oshi or no, I jack by seeing your son. You look up, Baba, you look up, Mom, you look at me. The Ajagbaye Sun Road, which has suffered neglect for over five decades by successive governments, was reconstructed by the Mimico led administration to alleviate the hardship being experienced by the people of Urele and Evarons plying the road. Inaugurating the road, Governor Mimico, who said the construction was necessary to improve the socio economic well being of the people of Urele, enjoined them to consider it as collective heritage which they must protect and preserve at all times. The governor thanked the people for their cooperation in the past seven years, even in spite of the current dwindling resources, and assured them of his administration's irrevocable commitment to completing all ongoing projects aimed at improving their living condition. He said the Ajabayason Road was a footpath assessed by only bicycles, motorcycles, and tiba trucks in the past, but the story has changed as the people of Iyeson, Akotobo, and other adjoining communities who traveled by water can now be assessed by land throughout the year. I am particularly delighted and grateful to Almighty God for the grace to be here today to commission the Ajagbaye Yonsan Road. This project, a milestone not only in the life of the surrounding communities, is also one of the proud achievements of this administration. For us, an occasion like this provides yet another opportunity to demonstrate our avowed and renewed commitment to the welfare, needs, and overall interests of our dear people. Also speaking, on those State Commissioner for Works, Engineer Buye Adigmero said the Ajagbayeson Road is one of the over 1,300 kilometers of roads constructed since Governor Mimiko assumed office in 2009. In addition to six dualized roads, which increased the number of dualized roads in the state from two to eight, the ceremony was also graced by top government functionaries. From Akure, the Ondo State Capital, Omar Wajona reporting.